Good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody. How the heck is everybody today? You guys, it's so weird. It's cooling down here. It's cooling down. It's in the low 100s, high 90s right now. It's only like 89 degrees here in sunny Phoenix, Arizona. Well, Harry and I had an eye opener this morning when we both got on the scale. We thought the scale was broken. We kept like checking it out. Not in a good way either, and I'll explain why. Everything you guys eat and drink the day before has a direct effect on your weight loss today. And that can be anything from the foods and beverages you drink. That can be from electrolyte imbalance. That can be from vitamins. That can be from medications, lack of sleep, stress, etc. And that can all affect whether or not you retain water weight. So with that, let me share with you what we had yesterday. That was perfectly keto and I will share everything what we had. This was yesterday's menu. I made sausage chopples, you guys, and I used the all natural Swaggerty's sage sausage, thinking it was wonderful. The last ingredient does have sugar, but most sausages and bacon, it's hard to not find them without something like that in them. So let me share. I split up the sausage uh, truffles, we, I mean chopples. We each had a three eggs because I made it with six eggs at four ounces of sausage total with a tablespoon of butter on top. Harry, he had two fried eggs and a tablespoon of butter with his chopples. We split them even Steven. I had four chicken thighs with skin last night, two tablespoons of avocado mayo for dipping, two scoops of collagen, four teaspoons heavy whip whipping cream, and some coconut almond milk. Harry had four ounces of beef brisket left over my mom and sister brought over, six ounces chicken thighs, two tablespoons avocado mayo. He had an avocado mayo horseradish mustard dip, with one teaspoon of the horseradish mustard and one tablespoon of beef tallow. He had two scoops collagen and um, the coconut almond milk in his coffee. So, I had a total of 1% carbs, 1.9 grams. I had 75% fat, which is right on target, perfect with my macros, 91.1 grams. And I had lower protein, 24% protein, for a total of 65.1 grams. So this is like almost perfect macros for a total of 1117 calories. So this is even lower. This is like low for me. Harry had 1% carbs for a total of 4.5 grams. We had 70% fat for a total of 109.4 grams. He had 29% protein for a total of 101.1 grams and a total of 1,544 grams because chicken is less calories. So we both had a lower calorie. But, but what happened you may say? Well, the sausage happened. Look at this you guys. We both went up less calories higher fat, lower protein, and we both went up. I went up 1.4 tenths of a pound. Harry went up 178.2. So he went up 1.2 tenths percent. So, all natural sage swaggerty sausage is off our menu going forward because I remembered when we were on the carnivore challenge and I made those sausage carnivore chaffles for us. I was all excited because I thought we'd go down the next day. And we didn't. We gained weight. Don't you remember that? Yeah, I remember. And I, I remember was really now. proud because I thought we didn't eat that much. We had those sausage chaffles. And we used the same all-natural sage swaggerty sausage for that. Now, see, if I would have remembered... I would that we ate that before. I would have went back and looked at the pictures of the big board that I right, have to see, to see what happened. Right. But I didn't remember that. And at I did. All. And I remembered that. So we're not going to eat the rest of the sausage that we have. My mom and sister are coming over for dinner tonight. They want chaffles, so I'm going to make them sausage patties after the leftovers that we have. And I brought out steak for Harry and I. 
I've got to find either a different sausage for those truffles. It's absolutely delicious. Or I need to use the lean uh, lamb in it next time I make the carnivore uh, meat truffles like that. I am very sensitive, and that's obvious that you can see this, that that one ingredient causes me to fluctuate that much. It's like the primal barbecue sauce that I had, not knowing that tapioca starch was gonna do that. So reading your labels, looking at the card count, even going to the manufacturer and asking them about the natural flavoring that's in products, because you guys, there's so much hidden garbage in these products that you could be sensitive to like me and i'm sensitive to everything you guys i have scent sensitivities i get migraines at the drop of a hat i am highly allergic to aspartame of any form shape or kind they give me grand mal seizures they stop my heart so i was insulin resistant i have metabolic issues you know so there's a lot going on with my body plus i'm older so I need to be cognizant of these things and I need to research these things. And if I, if I decide to eat it, then going into it, I need to know I potentially could gain some water weight, which Harry and I did. So we're gonna eat super clean today and we're gonna move forward because there's nothing we can do. Yesterday is gone and we only have today. Anyway, folks, just wanted to share that information with you today. We will come back to everybody when it, oh, oh, Harry's pointing to the big board. Sorry, sorry, it's Harry's turn. We'll go over here, I'll be Vanna first. And Harry, would you like to explain the big board today? Yeah. Here, this is something that's really interesting about this, is another reason why I like this board is because it shows that I'm coming in. We really are. There really is a problem with that sausage because yes. we, I could see one person going up. Right. You know, uh, I can see, you know, one person fluctuating water, water waves, wise and the sure. other person and right. all this kind of stuff. But when you both do it at the, the exact, after eating the exact same thing. And amount. We ate the exact the same amount. amount. That's right that we went up, basically, the only difference between Wendy and I is two tenths of a pound, how we right. went up. Because right. she went up one and four tenths, I went up one and two tenths. So that tells me, don't touch that stuff again. That's right, the sausage. I'm not having it again until I'm in maintenance. Yep. Until I'm in maintenance, that is now off the table. Can you put the ingredients for everybody? Um, just insert it here so they can see the back of the swaggerty because I threw that away and I don't have oh, another one. Yeah. So they can see because the last ingredient is sugar. So anyway, you guys, even though we both, look at this, we both had lower calories, both of us lower our protein was low compared to our low lean body mass our fat was right on the nose right it's all about this stuff right here yeah it's got to be that right there we eat chicken all the time throughout this whole thing we've yeah. never had problems with chicken thighs and all we put on the chicken thighs was the byron's butt rub which there's nothing in there that says natural ingredients there's well we've never i've never had problems with that either of you this. right let's see right here contains no yeah, sugar or oh and that's another thing I'm allergic to is MSG this has no MSG anyway it does not have any natural I'm looking at this proper it's got to be the sausage because you've never had a problem with Byron's butt rub even when I don't eat it so. right anyway folks I got to figure out today's menu and I've got a get that logged and written out and then we've got to decide what we are having for breakfast today everybody so we'll see everybody in the next segment well we're here for breakfast you guys Harry's hungry it's 11 o'clock I was gonna have sausage and eggs for breakfast so uh, that sausage is a no-go no kidding so we have a little bit of hamburger left so I'm gonna weigh the hamburger
So it's only 2.75 ounces. So I'm gonna put eggs in here and I'm gonna weigh the whole thing and then I'm gonna split it between the two of us. Okay. You can't get a really good count on eggs because um, they all weigh a little bit differently. So I'm gonna put in six eggs. I'm gonna put some tallow into the pan. Look at my beautiful beef tallow, you guys. Homemade, look inside there, Harry. Take a peek, you see. It's beautiful. I never get this tallow off the spoon. I'm whipping this all up together. So we, so we get half and half. Right. Fifteen, eighty-seven. Mm -hmm. So let's say sixteen. So we, I, we each get eight. So I'll have a little bit under eight. And I'm going to put, guess what I'm putting on mine, you guys, but you can't guess. A little bit of ketchup, but I'm giving Sally some of this egg because she didn't get here in time. Salt. Want sriracha on yours? No. Okay, you guys. We are having a egg scramble with ground chuck and some alterna spicy sweet ketchup on mine. Gotta eat now, folks. Hey everybody, I'm going to discuss something new today with everybody, but I want to show you what it is and I want to weigh it and show you how to use it. That product is cocoa butter. Now, it's 100% pure cocoa butter. It's the white butter. And there are no sugars in this. The ingredients is organic cocoa butter, okay? One, 14 grams is a tablespoon. And it's 100% fat. And so what I'm gonna do is share with you guys this real quick because we're gonna start, Harry and I are gonna start putting this in our coffee and you wanna talk about a cocoa flavor. Oh my gosh. So these come in little nibs. And I got this brand on um, Amazon. So this is a nib, it's approximately two grams. That's it, two little grams. That one's three. So I wanna put, for Harry, four grams twice a day. So I'm gonna put this in his coffee, Don't you guys. Nothing. There's only two of those, okay? Mm -hmm. So now what I do is I take these two nibs, and I put them in the coffee, coffee cup. There they are. I'm putting, uh, now I'm making his coffee as regular, you guys. So he wants a heaping spoonful. 
he gets his uh, Khalifa almond milk. Can you see that? Okay. I put better stevia French vanilla. And you guys, this is unsweetened, so you're gonna need to put some sweetener in it. It's like cook, it's like 100% co cocoa. Now I put the hot water in here. And I whip it. You wanna make sure your water's really hot so it melts the cocoa butter. It tastes like cocoa. That's right, it tastes like cocoa. So if you guys like wow. chocolate, add some of this and I'll go over why cocoa butter is a great alternative fat for you guys. Just gotta watch it because they don't, you gotta watch it. If they don't melt, you'll have a little round disc. Little cur oh, was there one under the yeah, foam? I, I didn't see it. sucked it right oh, in Oh, well, we'll have to blend it some more. So anyway, if you put your coffee cup down for just a minute, Sorry, dear. You like that. You just want to, yeah, you're a really cocoa good. boy. Yeah, that's really good, man. I like that. So, I want to share our menu with everybody now that I shared that with you guys. And we'll come back and we'll go over why cocoa butter is so good for you. So, this is our menu for the day. We already had our breakfast. Um, I didn't know what we were going to have, so I made it before I created the menu. So, I added it on here. So, we each had... 1.38 ounces of ground chuck. We split it in half. We each had three eggs and one tablespoon of beef tallow and one tablespoon of butter for our breakfast, you guys. We had that, we had that at 11 o'clock. For dinner, we're having chuck steak. I'm having eight ounces chuck steak with a tablespoon of beef tallow. Harry's having 11 ounces of chuck steak and two eggs. He's having a tablespoon of beef tallow and a tablespoon of butter. Now, he's having a total of six grams of cocoa butter today, and I'm having a total of eight grams of cocoa butter today in our coffee when we put our um, scoops of collagen in it. I'm having two teaspoons of heavy whipping cream and some coconut almond milk. So, our calories for today and our macros are, I'm ha uh, one percent of mine are from carbs for a total of 2.9 grams. 67% fat for a total of 86 grams, 32% protein for a total of 93.7 grams. My total calories are 1,231, right on point. Harry's total calories for the day are zero carbs, but he's got 1.5 grams for his eggs. 68% fat for a total of 113.5 grams. 32% protein for a total of 123.7 grams and his total calories are 1,614 calories. So you guys, <clears throat> we're gonna talk a little bit more about cocoa butter. But when you buy it, make sure there are no sugars. The only thing in it is organic cocoa butter. Plain and simple. Organic, that's, not natural. That's what you want to get. Correct, and this is a great brand, Wild Cocoa Butter. It is um, cocoa fat from single origin organic cocoa beans, you guys. You guys can start adding these to several different things. You can melt it in the uh, microwave or put it in a tablespoon and hold it over the stove for just a second to melt it and use the oil of it. It's delicious and the fats that this has is awesome for you, especially to help keep your fat up during your keto, ketovore, and carnivore. Uh, carnivore, it's a plant, so it's up to you guys. I know some people do and some people don't, but it's great. It's delicious. It's that cocoa taste that you get, and it's so good, you guys. And those tabs, you only need one or two. You know, this whole thing is if you have a tablespoon, it's 120 uh, calories, which is 14 grams, you're not going to use that much in a cup of cocoa. You're really not. So it's really worth it. And I'll come back in just a minute after I go back to my seat and I'll explain why cocoa butter is a great fat for everyone. Okay, you guys, I want to share a little bit more information about cocoa butter, raw cocoa butter, 
organic natural cocoa butter 100% cocoa butter is what we're, we're talking about, okay? Cocoa butter is a healthy fat, you guys. It's full of fat, fatty acids like oleic acid, palmitic acid, and stearic acid. Cocoa butter is also full of antioxidants that fight free radicals. And these antioxidants also ensure that there's a long, stable shelf life. Now, I put mine in the refrigerator, you guys. So this is a healthy way to get saturated fats into your diet, you guys. Um, even though it's considered a saturated fat, cocoa butter is in fact a very healthy fat and it's most, mostly saturated and it's similar to coconut oil. The amount of saturated fat that it contains is between 57% to 64% of the total fat content, depending on the exact kind. And the amount can differ a little bit depending on where the source is, okay? But isn't that exciting, you guys? If you get it that's minimally processed and not heated to high temperatures during manufacture, cocoa butter typically retains more of the healthy fats and superfood compounds found in natural cocoa beans. You guys, it's an effective mood booster. The superfood boosts neurotransmitters and it balances your hormones, you guys. So when you're eating chocolate, that's made with the cocoa butter. It's got a lot of fillers and other things in it. This is the pure, unadulterated stuff, okay? So whether you ingest it or apply it top topically, cocoa butter effectively raises the dopamine and serotonin. So for women, you guys, this is incredibly helpful for battling PMS. Why you might be craving chocolate, in fact, you guys. It's also been shown to help reduce anxiety and induce a sense of calm. So eat it or enjoy a small amount of massaging the oil onto your body for the benefits, you guys. It's pro-aging skincare as well. Now, don't get confused. You guys can buy coconut, cocoa butter oil, or creams for your body and it has other things in it. That is not what you want to eat. You want to eat 100% pure cocoa butter and make sure it's the edible one, not the one for your body because there's both, okay? But it's pro-aging skincare. Forget anti-aging. It's all about how to age in the most healthy way possible, you guys. And cocoa butter offers an effect and luxurious way to do so. The polyphenols contained in cocoa butter have been shown in some studies to help diminish signs of aging, plus soothe sensitive skin suffering from dermatitis or rashes, you guys. The high antioxidant content in cocoa butter helps fight off free radical damage to the skin. Free radicals are what can cause skin aging, you guys, dark patches and dull skin. So protecting your skin from free radical damage is a must if you want to keep it healthy and youthful looking. Cocoa butter is also anti-inflammatory, which is another way it helps your skin resist the ravages of time. Okay, you guys, just so you know, Research shows that the polyphenols have several pos positive indicators for skin health, including improved skin elasticity and skin tone. They say that it's even better than collagen retention and production and better hydration. So you guys, general skin care, it moisturizes, it soothes burns, it helps with rashes, it can heal infections because it's antibacterial, antifungal, chapped lips, and it's also great for stretch marks. So remember, you guys, if you like cocoa and you like the taste of chocolate, start adding one or two little of those nibs in your coffee or even your tea or chai tea. Start using it, you guys, because it's delicious and it's so healthy for you. Make sure if you're ingesting it, you guys are using the kind like I got the organic 100% pure cocoa butter. If you guys are using it on your skin, make sure you get the one that's made for the skin. 
I love the fact that it also enhances immunity. Many studies have shown that plant polyphenols exert antioxidant powers with the immune system in fighting inflammation, DNA damaged, and cellular mutations, which are the underlying cause of disease like cardiovascular disease, cancer, and autoimmune conditions that can lead to fatigue. So if you guys are eating a square or two of dark, dark chocolate every day, you might wanna start adding a few nibs of cocoa butter to your coffee as well. Hi everyone, Lori and Mom are here for dinner and I've got several things going here, you guys. Right now, I've got that sausage, that um, all natural swagger sausage cooking. Because Mom and Lori can eat this, even though Harry and I cannot, and it's good sausage, so it just has sugar in it, which we found out. I've got beautiful Czech steaks here. Lori wants a steak. No, We're having a steak. I've got chaffles almost ready to go into the waffle iron. Here I've got some cream cheese for my chaffles. I melt it just a little bit. I've got my regular chaffles. I put a capful of the butter toffee by Skinny Skinny Syrup, Jordan Skinny Syrup. I put six drops of the English toffee butter stevia, just a twist of salt. I'm gonna make frosting with this other part of the cream cheese. A little bit more butter. Put these in, nuke them just for a little teeny bit. About 10 seconds. everything going at once man oh yeah this is going to be the frosting I'm going to use a capful of the Jordan skinny syrup to give it some sweetness I'm going to put about six drops of English toffee better stevia Salt, because it makes it sweeter, marries the salts together. And I forgot my cinnamon. My cinnamon. These are just the standard. These are my standard ones. Yes. Yeah. A Eight, sour cream. Yeah, sour cream. Yes. Instead of mozzarella, I've always used, not sour cream, cream cheese. I've always yeah. used cream cheese cream with mine. Cheese. Yes. Cook. This is the frosting. Two tablespoons of butter, cap full of Jordan Skinny Syrup, any flavor you want, whatever flavor you want to use to give it a flavor. And then I used the toffee, and then I used English toffee stevia because when you marry the two different sugars, it gives it a richer flavor. I give her a nice big sausage. And I'm going to keep it warm. Just to... Oh yeah, chaffles. We can't cook several things at once over here because our circuit trips all the time. So we've got to cook chaffles. Then we've got to put the steak in. Move, move, move. Everybody, it's hot. Here. Frosting. Okay. Mom and Lori's is done. Chaffles are ready. 
I'm gonna serve those. You guys get dessert first. So I've got steak in the air fryer. I've got, I'm putting the eggs on right now. How many are you cooking? You get three. Sally is right here with her eggs. Hey you guys, we're waiting for the steak and the eggs to cook. I hope you guys get some cocoa butter and I hope you guys Start putting one or two nibs in with your coffee or your chai tea in the morning. Give it a try because it's absolutely delicious. Just don't forget, it's like baker's chocolate. There's no sweetener, no sugar in it, so you need to add some. Oh yeah. Here we go. Excuse me. I'll give you some of this in just a minute. We're gonna get each get a little over seven ounces of that cooked. While the steak is resting, we're gonna go ahead and close out our vlog. I hope everybody um, enjoyed that talk with the cocoa butter. I hope I gave you some new information regarding it. If you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. Give me a thumbs up, you guys. I will see you tomorrow. <sighs> okay, you want salt and pepper on your eggs, babe? Oh, yeah. How can I get eggs, too? Because, um, because I said so. Huh.